Hi friends, thanks for joining me for Video Thursday. I'm really happy you're here with me. Today I wanted to talk to you about our inner voice and the voice that we're instilling in our children. Our children are little mirrors to our personalities and there are a lot of times I see in my kids things that I know I've done myself. Some that I'm proud of and some that I'm not so proud of. For example, when my three-year-old told my six-year-old, you're really pissing me off. I was not very proud of that. And at the same time, there's been times where my kids are super supportive of each other and really encouraging with whatever project they're working on. And that melts my heart. So what I've realized is that we are instilling an inner voice in our children and we don't have that long to do that. So if we're talking in a tone to our kids that isn't very pleasant. That's ins being instilled in them. That's the voice they're hearing inside. I want my children to feel like I'm coming from a place of love, even in difficult situations. And so I've realized that I really need to be careful that my tone reflects that, even if I'm stressed or tired out. You know, when we go out into the world, we're often very kind and friendly with everybody that we meet and our coworkers even, but we can come home and we can be exhausted or stressed out and we can talk in a tone that isn't very pleasant to our family. Um, but I don't want that to be the tone that my kids have within them. I don't want them to be hearing that voice inside. I want them to hear a voice of love. So I realize that it's a choice. It's a choice for me to say, what would love do in this situation? And I know for me, it would not be to talk in a snippy tone with my kids just because I'm tired out. So I'm really working on that. I'm really working on coming from a place of love, even in difficult situations, even if they're fighting or, you know, not listening. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I realized also that you can see a mirror of yourself in so many places. It doesn't have to be your kids. You admire things in certain people and maybe you're not a huge fan of other things. And often that tells truth about ourselves. Sometimes we're not aware of that. Sometimes if it's something that we really think is great about somebody, it's because there's a piece of that within us. And also, if there's something that we don't particularly like, that's within us as well. But we have the power to change that. And the more we come from a place of love, the more we'll see that reflected back to us. Thanks for joining me, friends. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. How do you act out of love, even in difficult situations? What keeps you from talking in a negative tone to the people that you love most, even if you're having a stressful day. I'd really like to hear your thoughts on that. I hope to see you again next Thursday. Have a great day. Bye.